Somebody that gets sent is sent for a reason. Now, you got to look at the wordplay. All right, here's uh, Kamala making her speech at the border. And as president, I will work with Congress to create, at long last, a pathway to citizenship for hardworking immigrants who have been here for years. For years. And deserve to have a system that works. As your president, I will protect our nation's sovereignty, secure our border, and mm -hmm. work to fix our broken, broken system of immigration. I thought, I thought, I thought the border was secure. Isn't that what she said? Well, I guess now that she looked at a couple beams, she knows now. <laughs> Oh, she had to go to change her mind. Okay. I the Mexicans are good climbers. She realized it. She learned. She's not just pandering. <laughs> wow. She will literally say anything to get, because you know, that's why they have Tim Waltz, right? That's why they put him as the vice president is because she, she, she has, she hasn't connected to the white demographic, white male demographic. So they thought putting this fucking fairy, <laughs> this yeah. fat fairy. Let's put the guy who wants to put tampons in boys' bathrooms. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's put him in office for sure. So it's like I think she's she's missing probably the voter demographic of border patrol agents, law enforcement, border police. Patrol, border patrol put out a tweet after uh after that, after that speech, if they would, if they put "fuck Kamala Harris," I would be like, oh, "That's pretty reasonable." <laughs> nah, I gotta find it. They, they should have just did that, but, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, um, people, people are definitely against this, bro. And I mean, she's—it's obviously that she's lying. She's obviously lying. Mister Pink says says it perfectly. Actually, here, uh, we already have a system that works. People just don't follow it, mm. and that's kind of what Trump was doing. That's why it's like. Trump's whole border policy wasn't anything amazing. It was just enforce the laws, secure the border, put more patrol. But also, it's very simple. The, part of that security is not letting criminals in our country. So we had DNA testing. We had ways to identify if this person who was coming with the child port of was entry, actually yep. their parent. Yeah, We've, our government has lost three hundred thousand kids. How do you explain that? Well, then they threw that at us. They're separating kids from their families. And that's all they had. That's the only argument they had. And that kids it was xenophobia. Separated. They're stupid as fuck. Yeah, but if, if CPS gets called on, a, on a, a parent in America, they separate the kid from the, from the family until they figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. that's, that's just what happens. If we're doing that to our own citizens, why not non-citizens? Like, it's part of the vetting process. Absolutely. I sent it to your uh, Twitter. You want to pull it up on screen? I'll read it. Okay, go ahead. Uh, fact check on Harris' speech in Douglas, Arizona. Oh, Today, man. VP Harris claimed that she played a role in increasing Border Patrol agent overtime pay. That couldn't be further from the truth. As with all things border related, she was nowhere to be found <laughs> when we needed her. Period. <laughs> God damn. Border Patrol Union. And BPC. Absolutely. So, I mean, hey, I think that's important, too. And, and thank God for people like Elon Musk, because I'm sure if Border Patrol had tweeted this, it might have been snuffed or it could have been taken down, you know, by the old Twitter regime. So, you know. Yeah. It's yeah. important. It's important for us to see these things, the oh, contrast I, in their lives. I actually have something important, too, here. What do you got? Um, well, hold on. While I pull up the other one. I'm going to play this clip real quick because this kind of just shows you Kamala Harris's idea of how she feels about the whole about illegal illegal immigrants. Again, make it clear. I'm talking about illegal immigrants. You fucking retards out there. The spoon feed you. We're all immigrants, man. Shut the fuck up. Well, I was born here. I was born here. My dad was an immigrant. Sure. And he came here the right way. Exactly. I was an anchor, baby. Hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is wrong to somehow suggest 
then an undocumented immigrant is a criminal. Being an undocumented immigrant is not a crime. I know what a crime looks like. An undocumented immigrant is not a criminal. 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 An undocumented All right, we get the point. This should just be a Trump ad. I think it is actually. You know what? I'll just play the whole thing. Undocumented immigrant is not a criminal. An 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 undocumented immigrant is not a criminal. And we have to correct course in this conversation. We're not going to treat people who are undocumented across the border as criminals. That's correct. Hmm. Yeah. So we're not treating criminals like criminals. Exactly. I mean, the th the point is, is that crossing the border illegally is a crime. Automatic. Crossing the border not through a, a legal port of entry is either a uh, human trafficking, but also it's a uh, it's it's literally a federal crime. Yeah, absolutely. You're now a federal criminal. So I, you know, I could sympathize with people's, you know, hardships and stuff, but it is what it is. It's the rule. Every country in this world has a rule of entry into yep. the country yep. and a way you have to there. behave when you get to that country. You just can't walk in there. I say it all the time. We can't just waltz into Canada. Yeah. They have, we, they have a border. We're supposed to be different. Now, this is just important. I'm going to play it. The Biden administration, Kamala Harris, uh, and Joe Biden have been hiding border stats from the public. No surprise there. Well, I'm going to play it. Let me see if I'm, I'm even saying it right. I could just be putting words into this guy's mouth. But this is the former chief patrol agent. In San Diego, we had an exponential increase in significant interest aliens. These are aliens with significant ties to terrorism. Prior to this administration, the San Diego sector averaged 10 to 15 SIA arrests per year. Once word was out, the border was far easier to cross. San Diego went to over 100 SIAs in 2022. Well over that in 2023, and even more than that registered this year. These are only the ones we caught. At the time, I was told I could not release any information on this increase in SIAs or mention any of the arrests. The administration was trying to convince the public there was no threat at the border. Fentanyl is another issue. The San Diego area sees between 80 and 90 percent of the methamphetamine and fentanyl seizures annually for our entire country. With little enforcement at the border, these drugs were coming through in mass. During my last year in San Diego, the price for a single pill of fentanyl, for example, went from $10 to 25 cents. To make matters worse, during 2022 and 23, I had to shut down San Diego traffic checkpoints, which are critical for drug interdiction, because the resources had been diverted to the process and release mission. The large numbers also had and still have a negative impact on the San Diego community. I had to release illegal aliens by the hundreds each day into communities who could not support them. To quiet the problem, two flights a week were provided from San Diego to Texas. These flights simply brought aliens that would have been released in San Diego over to Texas. Each flight cost approximately $150,000. This was Jesus the administration's Christ. way to try and quiet the border-wide crisis. Now that's for the whole plane, I assume, to be filled. Bruh. Think about that. That's a lot of goddamn money that we're spending. 150000 <clears throat> taxpayer dollars are going to find special interest immigrants. The word they used. To, to different places in the country. Is is that not treason? That's kind of crazy. Yeah, I guess it falls under that. But but is it now because we're seeing they're trying to get uh Im immigrants, illegal immigrants to get um registered to vote. They were caught doing that. Is the special interest immigrants special interest is the special interest to go and populate certain areas with voters? Absolutely. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. So that's that's what I think is is a big part of it. 
is that they're just trying to get it all like, hey, just send them here, send them here, Arizona. That's a battleground. We're gonna need people there. Mm-hmm. And we gotta get them to vote. Fill in the gaps because there's no there's no real hype for Kamala. Yeah, true. But that's crazy. They I, so what he's even saying is that the numbers we just looked at are way worse than what we even than know. what we even know. Yeah. That's crazy. And those numbers were crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Bro, it could be a million of them in here, right? Oh, I think it is. Easily. That's nuts. Easily. Do you remember when those caravans were just flooding over the border? I remember. They're still in the, the country. They're trying to they're trying to blame. I remember um I was watching the what was it, CNN? CNN clip on it. And at the very end the guy was like, Oh, and all of these uh people came over during Trump's term. Yeah, it was Trump's term, when he was trying to put through a bill, you guys smashed it. You guys put through a bill, or tried to put through a bill that had exorbitant spending for other countries and had nothing, and little to nothing to do with border protection. And then you blame it on Trump. When and then pass. literally fight, fought every step of the way on the, on the wall. Crazy. Fucking Jamal Bowman pulls a fire alarm. That's why he's not in fucking Congress right fucking now. These people are scumbags. Crazy. They really are scumbags. Wow. All right, well, you know, vote for uh, Donald Trump. I think my camera's out. Is your, your camera? No, your camera's good. Okay. Is it off? Huh. Oh, All right, well, that's uh, Kamala Land. I mean, come on, imagine. <laughs> Kamala, you don't have to say Kamala. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> Damn it, I didn't get any greens before I left. Uh, ah, damn it. You didn't get the tub greens? I wanted some tub greens. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, maybe next any. time. Yeah. I'd share mine, but it's, it's too good. <laughs> you should have remembered. Um, real quick before we move on, uh, shout out to Mr. Pink. He said they're probably around 30 million plus in the country now. Ooh. The 10 million number was being used since around 2005. I think the number we were talking about specifically, Mr. Pink, were the number of criminals that uh, were, that were caught. That were yeah, that were caught. It's more criminals that are out here that that we know. Of. Yeah. Um. But yeah, there's, pl- I there's definitely, definitely agree- like thirty yeah. million immigrants for sure. You know what? I think it's actually higher than that. Really? I would probably bet. Well, well I, you know what? There's three hundred and what three hundred and forty five million people here. Listen, millions of 25? people. We're talking over because I know what he's saying because they've been using that ten million number for, like since I was I was young, right? Like when I started getting into politics as a as a teen. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so I think over the course of what thirty years, twenty years, twenty years. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you might maybe minus. Some of the Trump years, some years where they didn't want to like flood over. I think some years during the Bush years too, after nine eleven, I think it was pretty, it was pretty, pretty locked down, yeah, contained. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Sure, yeah. For yeah. Sure. So minus those, then yeah, you're probably you're probably looking at thirty, forty, easily forty million, maybe fifty. <laughs> That's scary. I heard somebody say they think it's seventy. That's a lot. Yeah, seventy. That I forgot who it was. It that's, may have been Charlie Kirk or somebody who. I don't. That's a lot. Seventy million people out. is a lot of immigrants, bro. I don't even think. Is that possible for us to, to even Wasn't have that kind of number? Wasn't there a point where they were coming in a hundred thousand a day? Wasn't there a point in that? Am I off on the number? Was it ten thousand or something? I really can't remember. It was a while ago. There was that, there was the, a number like a a consistent average that were coming in. That caravan was it was a big caravan. I just don't know if it was seventy million big. No, no, we're talking That's the massive. seventy million number is the uh, uh, accumulation oh, over, over time. twenty thirty okay, years. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. Then it's <laughs> then it might be. Right. Right. That's a lot. It's 